Hey everyone, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Thursday's check-in. I'm back in Santa Monica just for the week. It was a very busy weekend. I did Rose Bowl, which is my once a month monthly pop-up. And I have to say, I definitely do like my new spot. And we'll see how I like being there and having to pay extra to have a corner space. But I like when people are able to walk up around the circle part of this huge market with thousands of vendors and be able to see the sun catchers right away and i'm not hidden and tucked in between two vendors basically tent to tent so let's see how it is for me over the next couple of months also i do want to give my grandma a big shout out for helping me with the pop-up i do have a handful of new merch that she sold for the shop and the channel while I was in Costa Rica and speaking of Costa Rica I want to share with you a little haul and I kind of want to do a test tasting because I did this on the channels before so with my last haul video for Costa Rica which I filmed in Costa Rica I did more shopping after that and I share with you the regular size bag of chocolates that you will find everywhere in Costa Rica to the point where they have a whole section in the airport and this is pretty much the only chocolates you're gonna find in Costa Rica and I ended up spending I don't know why and how this happened a hundred dollars worth of chocolates so I got these variety packs and there's all of the flavors in here because I only got three flavors of the regular size which is the guava which I like coconut and passion fruit I wanted to try the others so I figured while I do today's video we can do a test tasting and I'll go through all of them while I hang out with you guys for Thursday's check-in. So this is going to be the first one I'm going to taste as I talk about my week. So Rose Bowl is really good. You know, those days are very long, 14-hour days. Mmm. Orange and chocolate. Well... I was wrapping up my last few days in Costa Rica. I went shopping, of course. Cashew, Cashew and chocolate. In fact, I did do a chocolate tasting in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. So I got to learn about the history of chocolate, how chocolate is grown, and we made chocolate there. So it's really cool. Mmm, this one's good. So it's gonna be like a continuation, part two Costa Rica haul. All right, so I already tried the guava and I have a big bag of that, so I'm just gonna skip that. Let's do the coffee one. I'll talk about my most, ooh, it's white. The most expensive thing that I got <laughs> was this outfit from Santa Teresa. It's high-waisted pants. I also wore this top, I believe, for the Thursday check-in that I did in Costa Rica. This outfit was well over $100. Would I have bought it in the States for that much? Definitely not. But it's my souvenir from Costa Rica, so I got that. Everything's expensive in Costa Rica. Nothing's cheap. I got this crop top from Santa Teresa. I wore it a lot during all of my physical activities and this cost me like $35 and I'm telling you the prices because I'll show you in a second what I found when I came back to the States. I got this cute top with the sloth and it's really nice cotton material and this cost me $18. I think it's super expensive for a touristic shirt. So when I went thrift shopping yesterday in my neighborhood uh, thrift shop on the way home from grocery shopping and I'm taking grandma to her doctor's appointments for the day, I wanted to look for glass bottles for my sand. So this was one of them. This is the other one and in here is the sand from Costa Rica. So I was able to bring it back. So that was nice. I got one more which is in the house. So these can also be for propagation. But I have so much for propagation, so those are meant for my Sam. Well, I was thrifting, I came across this t-shirt which says, Stay Golden Pura Vida. 
and it's a shirt from Costa Rica brand new it had the tags on it and everything and the retail price on that tag was $30 and I got this shirt for believe it or not six dollars and then with discount Tuesdays for seniors 15% off with grandma I got this shirt for what I don't know definitely under six dollars I can't believe it it is so cute and it was like way cheaper than any of the shirts that I got literally while I was in Costa Rica so that was a very fun thrift buying I'm gonna wear that t-shirt for sure I also want to share with you the shells that I just styled in this glass. I got this container in Daiso today. It's the perfect fit. So I got some of the sand and the shells. And these shells, I literally spent maybe 15 minutes picking um, along the shore right before I left this particular place in Malpais before I ventured off to La Fortuna. So this is from Malpais and this is from Santa Teresa so it's kind of like along the same coastline but two different beaches so I know some of you guys are interested to see what it looks like I collect shells, sand and rocks wherever I go and this was one of the rocks that I got from my trip okay I think we need to try another chocolate pineapple so far out of this pack I think I like maybe the cashew is gonna be my favorite one mmm we'll do one more so you can see the center okay so in Kepos which is the last town that I visited after I did my PCR test I got this swimsuit and this is the back and it's red inside so I can reverse it I'll probably use this in Hawaii next month so that was $30 I'm kind of jumping around here so as I was thrifting yesterday in Santa Monica I came across this cute dress I would not wear it on a daily basis but I will wear it for vending because it's a leaf print with pockets how cute and bright yellow so this is gonna be perfect for vending I'll probably use it next week after I come back from Vegas I'll use it with either these earrings will look nice or like my big large white monstera ones so this was $7.99 minus 15% off with the senior discount how cute is that so I'll be wearing this for vending for the summer because it's gonna start getting hot so those were my thrift finds yesterday comment down below what do you think let's go back to the last part of my Costa Rica haul as I go through this one here they have so many flavors and they have all kinds of stuff here so I already tried the passion fruit and I have a big bag of that so I really like that one and is this the same thing? Did they replicate some stuff here? No. No, no, no. This is this is different. That was white chocolate covered in uh, coffee bean white chocolate and this one is milk chocolate with the coffee bean. Costa Rica is known for their coffee as well. Coffee and chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm not really a fan of having coffee in my chocolate. Okay, I got another magnet. This one was from the airport. I think this magnet cost me $12, but it's so cute. I also got me Costa Rican flag patch. I like to collect patches of flags wherever I go. And then I got me a little pin with the slot and it says Costa Rica, how cute then i got one for me and one for my mom look at how cute this is such a cute bag 
take it to the beach farmer's market if I ever am not vending how cute is that so those were my airport finds along with the chocolates I'm eating okay let's go through the last few while I talk about up-to-date things that's going on the shop since I've only been here for just a few days and I just went straight into vending and then two days back to back of being eight hours out two days in a row for grandma's appointments she did her transfusion she did bone density she did ultrasound she did ophthalmology she <laughs> it was just a whole bunch of different appointments so I haven't been really home dark chocolate okay I see what they're doing here milk chocolate dark chocolate and white chocolate coffee beans it's so okay. one of my latest designs and I already wore my rhinestone version and glitter version in Las Vegas this past week for work I love it a lot I want to share with you my jade version and in here there is Cressula multi cava blooms in here look at how pretty that is so i either can turn these into earrings or i'm gonna turn this into a sun catcher and i'm gonna be working on it when i do my next pop-up which will be thursday which is by the time this video goes live i will be heading to westwood farmers market so that's my one pop-up for the week but how pretty are these i ombre them with the jade blooms and the chrysala multi cava blooms my mother plant i have two of them one living in a coca Cola basket and one living here on my succulent shelf i'll share with you because i'm gonna have to take the blooms before i go to vegas and dry them they're a lot tinier than the cressula ovata blooms so they're able to fit in tiny little things like this so i can't wait to turn this into a sun catcher probably i'm gonna share with you my latest creations that i did on sunday so I have these little monster earrings. I did this style once many, many months ago and I never went back to doing this style. They take forever to make. There's these ones here in gold and white. And then I have these pairs here. A variegated monstera and then an all green monstera. And then I did an Opuntia and Monstera. So I'm gonna be creating a few more of these during my Thursday pop-up this week. And these are all up for sale. They're all different, one of a kind. So if you're interested, DM me on Instagram if you're not able to come to my pop-ups. I'm always creating new things. I got more other non-plant related things like a lot of butterfly things that I am releasing for the month of March for the shop and you can see that on my resin account or on the vlog channel so I want to share with you the new aprons that grandma has created for the shop so we have this here with the bow and ruffle you guys know how much I love the bow and ruffle detail it has the planting with Jimin logo here and I'm getting new logos that will say Jewel of Hawaii. There's this one here. Oh, this is so cute. They're all different. I have one left of the Tiffany blue color. I'm doing all these aprons to show you guys what they look like. I have one with no bow and ruffle. And then we got one with the bow and ruffle. How cute is that? So whatever is your jam and then we have one with a plain pocket so we have some options here plain pockets bow and ruffle and these are the latest batches of aprons they take forever to make so it's done in small batches but they're all handmade by my grandma and all the money goes right back to her so if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my resin work small or large or any of grandma's i think we just have a few monster totes left and 
she will be going home to Hawaii next month for a month so we'll see if she creates anything else for the shop before then but these aprons are all up for sale and they're all one of a kind handmade by my grandma so that is my haul I think I'm going to end the chocolate tasting here with the almonds because I do have the large bag of the coconut and it's really good so I, I'm not gonna open that one up but let's do the almond here we go mmm okay I think my favorite cashew and the pineapple of the ones that we open mmm so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me sharing with you the last half of my Costa Rica haul some of my new resin work along with grandma's new handmade merchandise and as well as sharing with you what the Costa Rica sand and shells look like and my thrift finds that I got yesterday at my neighborhood thrift shop I can't believe it I really love my Costa Rica t-shirt that I got for like under six dollars brand new from the thrift shop I don't know how that worked out and this cute dress and to me I don't know what leaf pattern this is but it could be maybe a calathea maybe I'm not sure I mean it could even be some kind of philodendron what do you guys think I love it a lot so before we wrap up today's video let's go ahead and share with you an update of what Bob Marley's blooms currently look like as it's in transition of growing slowly hopefully it'll open up for me by the time I go to Brazil at the end of next month and I'll share with you what my multi cava looks like in bloom and there's so much happening in the collection while I'm away but of course there's always a handful of plants that are not happy with me and my travel schedule um, but with that being said next week Thursday I guess we could do next week Thursday's check-in from Las Vegas and you know what as I sit here I see a cacti that bloomed for me it must have bloomed for me last night I'm gonna try to see if I can save the bloom because it's already closed and I can put them into one of my resin pieces speaking of which I am in the process of creating a large cacti piece I think there's six different cacti blooms currently I just finished pouring the second pour and I probably have like one or two more pours to cover it so I'm, I'm in the middle of that I wanted to create something special for spring so let's go around the collection here I'll share with you what's going on and then we'll wrap up today's video things are always happening in the collection this must have just opened up last night so I'm gonna try to save that so we'll take this there's one of my Cressula Multicavas in bloom I'll pick these before I go to Vegas they're so dainty and small. So this is what's in my butterfly wings resin piece. It's my other Chrysilla Multicava. So pretty. The blooms are so dainty and tiny compared to Chrysilla Ovata. All right, and here is what Bob's Marley's blooms are currently looking like. So you can see a few here, here, here. They're kind of everywhere. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait. There's probably maybe going to be 10 blooms or so. Very special moment for him. That is going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on another Thursday check-in. If you haven't watched this past Monday's video on the channel, go ahead and check it out. It is episode one of three of Come With Me Plant Shopping in South Florida. And if you haven't watched the vlog channel, go ahead and check it out. Subscribe, Jewel of Hawaii. I just aired travel with Julian Costa Rica episode one and you are going to be seeing the rest of my adventures in Costa Rica in the upcoming videos on the vlog channel which is super exciting for me because it's my first time visiting any place in Central America and I would like to go back to that part of the world in the near future now so that's gonna wrap up today's video just a super chill video I definitely wanted to share with you all these bits and pieces like the Costa Rica haul my thrift haul things that I've been creating lately and what grandma's been creating lately and the few blooms that are doing really great in the collection right now for me I do have a lot more things in bloom but I'm gonna share that in a whole separate video 
which is going to be my pot of fame video that I probably have to film after this video because I was not able to film February uh, and a February beginning of March because I just came back from Costa Rica and went straight into dancing in Las Vegas but there's a lot of things happening in the collection and I'm so thankful for the plants that don't give me drama and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing another Thursday check-in here on the channel if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day I will see you Monday for part two of three come with me plant shopping South Florida and next week Thursday I will be checking in from the ninth island Las Vegas Nevada until next time Aloha from Santa Monica California bye Totally forgot, but I also got this teardrop ring from Costa Rica as well. And I just started wearing it today. It's so pretty. One of my favorite finds.